So has anyone seen Etta? Because I have to talk to her about the project. I haven't seen her since this morning. She was telling me about this guy and... Well, she's probably just feeling emotional right now. Guy? Yeah, um, apparently she's had this crush on this guy for a really long time and now he's with someone else and... Well, uh, I don't know, I couldn't get any names or actual details, but, um, yeah. Wow, that sucks. It uh, must be awful to like someone that likes someone else. Yeah, Marvel. It really sucks. Don't you think, Arwen? Uh, yeah. I think it's horrible. But that's why you can't get too attached. Everyone leaves in the end. That's so true, Arwen. Everyone really does just leave in the end. No one sticks around. Yes, many people leave, and usually it's forever. But if they come back, then it's because there was a good reason. Well, I hope that reason to stay is better than the reason to leave in the first place. Huh? What? Forget it. Okay, no, but seriously, guys, where is Etta? Etta? Arwen? <laughs> What's up? Were you in the janitor's closet? Uh... Yeah! Why? Oh, uh, momentary relapse. See, I thought I was going in a classroom and I ended up going in the janitor's closet instead. <laughs> Silly me! But... Etta, the classrooms are really obviously the other way. <laughs> Strange, huh? Well, you know me. Silly. Etta, are you okay? What a pointless question. So, how about you answer it? I don't know what you're talking about. You've been acting... different the last few days. I don't know what's up with you. Oh, <laughs> Um, I guess I've just been nervous, that's all. You know me. Anxiety. Oops. <laughs> Is something wrong, Etta? Like, actually wrong? No. Nothing's wrong. Are you lying? No. Are you lying? No. Well, like, not much. I, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Arwen. And Etta, she found you. Oh, Marvel. Uh, hey, what's going on? I, um, I was just looking for you, that's all. Uh, any particular reason? Well, well, no, I, um, uh, actually I was gonna ask if you wanted to maybe hang out today after school. Now's not really a great time, Marvel. I see. I'm interrupting. I'll, um, I guess I'll catch up with you later. Okay. That's fine. I'll see you later. Not such a lovey-dovey couple like you were earlier, huh? What? get it? What do you get? You like Marvel. Yes. Why didn't you say anything? What was I supposed to say? I didn't want to get in the way of you two. It wouldn't be fair. In the way of... Us two? You mean me and Marvel? Well, yeah. Etta, there is no me and Marvel. Well, you could have fooled the whole school. Even me. Etta, I'm not... I'm serious. 
Marvel and I never a thing, never will be a thing. I don't even, I don't even like Marvel. What? Marvel and I is, no. Then why do you keep acting like you two are dating? What do you mean? Every time you and Locke were gonna go hang out, you'd make plans and, and then the last second you would just drop everything for Marvel. That's something that a girl, a girlfriend, would do. Did Locke say that to you? No, he didn't have to. It was just written all over his face. I was just trying to be a good friend to Marvel. He's... He... He doesn't have a family. Or a home. He lives in one of those group places with a lot of other kids his age. I just wanted to be a friend for him. You were pitying him. What? No, I would never do that. Arwen, why do you think that we never say anything about where Locke and DC live? Anything about their home life or anything like that? Because they don't want us to. They don't want us to feel bad for them. They want to be respected just like anyone else in this school. They want to be seen for who they are, not for where they come from. Even Locke's like that. Me too. And I'm sure even you. But... I... I... Marvel really likes you, Arwen. And... I don't think that he knows whatever is going on between you. I don't know what it is, but... Whatever it is, he doesn't see it as friendship. He sees it as something a lot more serious, and I think that everyone thought you did too. Is that why... Locke? I, um... That's not my place. I can't interfere. Oh, is that so? But maybe you should explain it to him. And while you're at it, Marvel... Well... That's going to be something else altogether. You really like him, don't you? Well, yes. But it doesn't matter because he doesn't feel the same way. He never did. How do you know? <laughs> because he never looked at me the way he looks at you. That's why you have to be careful, okay? Please, don't hurt him anymore. Hey Marvel, sorry about that. Um, what did you want to talk about again? I was wondering if you wanted to hang out today. After school? Oh. Um. That's... Very nice of you, Marvel and all. It's just that, um, well, well, you see, I'm so stupid. Why would she like me anyway? I mean, it's not like it's such a surprise. I don't know why I'm. I can't believe I let it get so far in my head. She'll never like me anyway. What's the point? She likes my best friend. So... I have to move on.
Hey, DC. Um, I'm surprised to hear from you. I can't talk for too long. Curfew's almost up. That's okay. I just wanted to talk to you. Is everything okay? Yes. Um, I kind of went through a, a bit of an awakening, I guess you could put it. And I... I called to ask you if, well, you and I have been friends for a very long time, right? Yes, we have. Well, I think that... <sighs> DC, would you like to go out on a date with me? Sounds good then. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Good night, Lock. Good night, DC. Got a text. Who's it from? 